All right, friends. Today we will talk about Alteryx workflows. And one of the very basic thing which we come across is that we have created four workflows and then there is a dependency of workflow second on workflow one and workflow third on workflow two. So you want to run them sequentially and you don't want to run them manually one by one. You need a workflow, a master workflow, which can run all of them one by one. And that's where you will use batch macro, which is one of the very good feature in Alteryx. Macro is, is basically to automate your day-to-day -day manual activity and how you create a workflow as a batch macro is that you go to workflow and here you select macro and then you can change it to batch macro and save it if you save any workflow as a batch macro it will change the extension of the file it will make it yxmc and if it's a standard workflow it would be yxmd now this is a standard master workflow which is calling three batch macros one two and three and here block until done this is this object is controlling the flow of these batch macros it will make sure that first this step one is run and after that step two is run and once that step two is completed step three is run right so this is the one which is controlling the flow of the workflows. You can bring this entire batch macro workflow inside this existing workflow. And for this one also you can bring in existing workflow. But what it will do is it will make your workflow very complex and very large. So to keep it clean and to follow up a standard process you create those workflow separately you save them as a batch macro and you call them here in the master workflow now first of all let's discuss about step one so the color is black because this this workflow is basically using uh, in db tools of alteryx and then creating few tables in database do right click and open macro step one yxmc it will open that macro here so you will see that there are like some uh, in db connection is used and then a lot of object are used to do the data transformation and manipulation and then finally here this is your macro output so because in this macro we have used macro output only so that's where you don't have to provide any input to this macro if you would have used macro input in starting of this workflow then when we use it here in the master workflow it would ask for input and if you don't have input then it will throw an error and in this case we don't need that now once this is completed execution is passed to block until done and then first arm of it will run so what we are doing here is we are pulling a field called field one with dummy row in that just one row dummy now what it will do is it will make sure that your batch macro is just ran once so batch macro consider it as a for loop and based on the input you are giving to the batch macro it will run that for loop that number of times so let's say in field one if you have five different values dummy one dummy two dummy three dummy four what it will do is it will run this batch macro five times but we don't want to run it five times because the the use case here is that we just want to run that this workflow once and get the output of it so now this is append tool what it is doing is it is just appending uh, output of this with output of this dummy so it is basically uh, consider it as a outer join to the data this select what it is doing is it is 
making sure that whatever we are pulling from this is not being passed to this one so we will just select field one from here coming to this one it is unique tool it will make sure that you just have one row getting loaded to the batch macro now right click here open macro and it will open that macro it's a yxmc file and if you check the workflow here in the details you will see that it's a batch macro now here there is a data transformation happening and then finally once data is transformed in a certain fashion there is a report being created and then once that report is created that report is sent out to the audience via an email now this entire flow once completed control will come back to block until done it will send control to second arm of it and then same thing here field one dummy passing that field until here making sure that there is just one row using unique tool and running the another step three batch map again there, there are some data transformation steps which are happening once those are completed final email is sent out to the intended audience now let's say when you are building it when you are building batch macros right you select workflow as a batch macro save it as a batch macro with yxmc extension macro select batch macro save it and then once it is saved to use it further in your master workflow what you need to do is you need to bring that macro in alteryx you go to option user settings edit user macros and click on plus go to the path and once that is added here it will start showing under macros window just drag it drop and use it in your master workflow now when you run it it will make sure that this is run first and then this one and then this one and the workflow execution is completed so this is how you can sequentially run your workflow through a master workflow let me know comment if you have any doubt on the process i will try to answer that till then Keep learning. Thank you.